What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm making a video on a controversial Samsung app that a lot of people ask me exactly what that app is, and I'm gonna dig into that a little bit, talk about what it does, and also how you can opt out and turn it off if you want. So before we get in too far, the app is Customization Service, and there's a new update for it rolling out as of today, or maybe yesterday for some of you. Um, we're gonna talk about exactly what it is and how you can shut it off if you want. Before we get into that, I do wanna remind you guys, if you wanna to subscribe to my newsletter, get my weekly icon packs, wallpapers, all that cool stuff, you can do that in the link in the description. Also, we're running our giveaway for the month of June, giving away a flagship device. You can win an S22 Ultra or any other phone that you want. Check that out, and all that stuff is in the description box below. So let's talk about customization service. Uh, I'm gonna update it in this video because it is an update and usually I like to talk about updates, but this is a app that a lot of people have no idea what it does. And um, some people probably wanna opt out of it, but don't realize that it's turned on by default out of the box on your device. So if you read Samsung's description, it's kind of misleading and a little bit vague. It says, what is customization service? It says Samsung device apps and services designed to provide you with customized service by supporting your desires and needs in smart and intelligent manager. Samsung's customization service provides an enhanced user experience, including customized content and recommendations based on the information obtained about you and your use of the services. So it's very, very kind of dicey lingo, right? It's like a terms of service contract lingo. And uh, it just kind of made the sound rosy. But what it really means is they're collecting all the data how, how you use your phone and Samsung services, Samsung Cloud, all that stuff, Bixby, everything to approve it. Um, and basically, a lot of people, if you read the reviews, so if you check out some of the reviews, a lot of people are not too happy about it. Uh, you know, people saying this is spyware, this is malware, stealing my data to sell and calling a service, more bloated trashware. Um, if you read their terms of service, this actually does allow them to collect your data and sell it to certain partners that they have, which means they could make a profit off the data they collect from you using your Galaxy device. So obviously that's pretty upsetting. To me personally, I mean, it does improve the services I use, and I'll talk about that in a second. So I don't have a huge issue. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and update it here while we're waiting. It's 12 meg update. This is just a stability update. I don't have a problem enabling it because it does improve services. And in my opinion, you know, if you use any phone, you're gonna be giving away some of your data. But let's talk about how you can actually turn this off if you don't want it, because a lot of people are really concerned and they don't want people taking extra data, especially selling it to third parties. You can opt out and you can actually opt out in a granular way so that you tell them specifically what they can use and what they can't. So if you go into settings, you go to privacy here and uh, you actually scroll down, you'll see here it says customization service and right above it, you can actually read Samsung's privacy policy. But then right below it, they have customization service, which I think is kind of sneaky because otherwise people would never really read this most likely because it sounds very vague. And uh, it makes it sound like you're getting something where it's not really using your data because it just says, oh, customize this phone. And so if you, would, if you have this enabled, which I believe is enabled by default out of the box, they're going to use your data um, to surface content, potentially ads, and also other information like recommend songs you might like and things like that. So you can turn it off right there like I just did. Obviously, you can see it is really easy to turn off. Um, but if you don't want to turn it off fully, you can go into this menu, customize apps, and you can tell them which apps you want customized based on interest. Bixby routines, voice, calendar, clock, contacts, digital well-being, finder, galaxy store, all these various Samsung apps. Now it does improve these services based on your preferences, the content you like and things like that, but they are then using your data from these apps and then could potentially sell it to partners. Now there is information about of their privacy notice related to this, like I said, you can actually read what the customization service is. It's a bunch of stuff. They collect your dice information, internet browsing history, all of this stuff, right? And in addition to this, they can link this customer service to third party uh, services and also use it for advertising. So basically selling it to third parties. Now, again, you can opt out fully. You can also control the permissions right here. It shows you which permissions are required. You can erase your data, download what data they have on you, stop customizing all devices. And then here you can choose to just opt out of the advertising and direct marketing part. So you can actually remove that, but you're still getting all of your other stuff customized. And that's probably what I would do. That's actually what I had turned on by default. I just kind of showed you guys this. And so there's the app itself, which I just updated to the latest version. So a lot of people don't really know this, uh, customization service app, and I believe it is on by default in a lot of regions. So you may wanna think about turning it off or at least turning off the ad part 
if you don't want them you know, selling that data to companies to target you with ads. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon for future videos like this. Again, check out the monthly giveaway, my newsletter, all that cool stuff in the pen description and comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.